Welcome to the CA Compliance Event Manager version 6.0 video on monitoring privileged access events from CA Trusted Access Manager for Z. Using CA Trusted Access Manager for Z, you can manage and audit privileged IDs on the mainframe, strengthening privileged ID security by letting you restrict who has access to a privileged state and time box the elevation, greatly reducing the risk of insider threats. Using CA Compliance Event Manager, you can augment CA Trusted Access Manager for Z's auditing capabilities to monitor and be alerted in real time when these privileged access events occur, letting you catch potential misuse of privileged ID credentials more quickly so you can lock down potential threats in a timely manner. In this demo, we'll define a policy statement and an email alert in CA Compliance Event Manager to monitor when a user elevates or attempts to elevate his or her access to a highly privileged class that gives the user access to restricted sensitive data. We'll also show an example of an email alert generated from CA Compliance Event Manager when sensitive data is accessed in a suspicious manner, but we'll assume such monitoring is already in place. First, we'll create an event-based policy statement for our monitoring. We'll enter a description of monitor when a user issues the elevate command to any super class. Now we'll select our events of other administration and other administration violations. Next, we'll include test conditions. To monitor the issuing of the elevate command, we select operation equals elevate. In this example, our company uses a naming structure in which all highly restricted classes start with super. Class super one permits access to PII data, class super two permits access to SAP data, and so on. To closely monitor all these classes, we add command contain super. Now we'll create our email action for this policy statement to be alerted in real time when this policy is triggered. We give our email action a meaningful description, set the priority to high, enter a sender email and recipient email address, then we provide a descriptive subject line and a descriptive message for the email. We'll also send these events to the data warehouse in case we need the information later. Click Next. Review your policy statement for accuracy and click Create. The new policy statement is successfully created. Now let's see how a malicious user might issue the elevate command to a restricted class of Super 1, giving him access to highly sensitive data, and then try and copy that sensitive data off the mainframe, a clear case of privileged user abuse. First, from CA Trusted Access Manager for Z, the user issues the elevate command class super1 to elevate his permissions. After the user logs back on in the elevated state, he's able to transfer sensitive data that he is not normally authorized to access off of the mainframe and onto his PC. Luckily, CA Compliance Event Manager is monitoring this activity, so you receive real-time alerting via email notifications. You review the emails and think that this might be a potential security threat. You investigate further using CA Compliance Event Manager's reporting capabilities and CA Trusted Access Manager for Z's audit trail. This looks like a case of privileged user abuse and an internal threat to your mainframe data. Restricting access to sensitive data so that it can only be done under the much stricter control provided by CA Trusted Access Manager for Z is a significant step toward better data protection. However, as we have just shown, it is critical to monitor privileged user activity. You take your own actions to stop the insider threat and to ensure that your sensitive data remains secure. Thanks to integration between CA Compliance Event Manager and CA Trusted Access Manager for Z, you can rest assured that you are keeping a close eye on privileged access events. For more information about CA Compliance Event Manager, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit CA Support or CA Communities, or see the learning path. Thank you for watching this CA Compliance Event Manager 6.0 video on monitoring privileged access events.